experiment to study the effect of concentration on the rate of reaction using sodium thiosulfate and hydrochloric acid. In this experiment, we will take a number of solutions of different concentrations of sodium thiosulfate. We will then react each of these solutions with a certain quantity of dilute hydrochloric acid in order to study the effect of concentration on the rate of reaction. Using a graduated cylinder, pour 100 cm cubed of 0.2 molar sodium thiosulfate into a conical flask. Place the conical flask on a sheet of white paper on which a mark has been made. Using the other graduated cylinder, pour 10 cm cubed of the hydrochloric acid solution into the conical flask. Swirl the flask and start the stop clock. The sodium thiosulfate and hydrochloric acid are reacting together to produce a precipitate of sulphur according to the reaction shown on the screen. Look at the cross through the solution and when the yellow precipitate of sulphur, milkiness, reaches such a stage that the cross is no longer visible, stop the stop clock. Note the time taken in seconds and fill in the result in the table. For your convenience, this table is reproduced for you in the Follin Student Laboratory Notebook. Rinse out the conical flask and the graduated cylinder that contained the sodium thiosulfate solution. Now, place 80 cm cubed of the 0.2 molar sodium thiosulfate solution and 20 cm cubed of deionized water into the graduated cylinder. This gives us a solution of concentration of 0.16 molar, that is 80% of 0.2 molar. Pour this solution into the conical flask. Swirl the conical flask and place it on the cross as in step 1. Add 10 cm cubed of the dilute hydrochloric acid as in step 1. Swirl the flask, start the stop clock and note how long it takes for the cross to become obscured. Enter your results in the table. The experiment is repeated for four other concentrations of sodium thiosulfate solution and the time taken to obscure the cross in each case is noted. For your convenience, this table is reproduced for you in the Follin Student Laboratory Notebook. When you analyse your own data, you should find that the cross is obscured most quickly when the solution is most concentrated. Another way of stating this is that as the concentration increases, the time for the cross to be obscured decreases. That is, the rate of reaction increases with increased concentration.
you must also be able to represent your data in the form of graphs and these graphs are shown in your textbook. That concludes this experiment. <laughs>